Good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie. We're in the shed. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and uh, well, it's Black Friday, I guess. And uh, yeah, first things first. All right, first things first. I'm gonna do a little sale promotions. I'll create a promotion, sales event, and markdown. And I'm gonna run 10% off discount and sale event. Okay. Select items. Select items. Then I'm gonna do $20 on up. And then I'm gonna do 14 days on site. On up. I gotta hit filter. So the $20 plus filter leaves me with 321 items. And then when I filter it by the days, I'm left with 295. So that's what we're gonna do. 295 items at 10% off. And boom, there we go. Save and review. All right, include, blah, blah. Okay, we're gonna start now. We're gonna run it through, how long am I gonna run this thing? We'll run it through tomorrow night, and then I'm gonna, I'll kick off another one tomorrow night. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Sale. And launch, there we go. Black Friday, I'm participating. But yeah, I uh, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. We did. I'll, here's a little clip. <laughs> Candace's brother has a new place. And it had this awesome, it has just this awesome property. And I was just geeking out about his sheds and barn and everything. It was just a really nice, about an hour and a half drive from here. Headed towards New Orleans. So we, we really enjoyed our time over there. So uh, yeah. <laughs> the shed was my favorite part of course but yeah we got work to do i got the sale running um let's pull some orders for ebay okay first thing i'm pulling is this um wait no not this one it's this other one behind it it's garfield music box oh what a beautiful morning i got a couple of these here we go this plays, oh, what a beautiful morning. And uh, yeah, it's sold within a week, I think. I think I have $5 into this from a garage sale a while back. I've just had it and haven't, just didn't list it yet. But yeah, that sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. All right, here are some bookends that I bought not too long ago. Didn't pay a bunch for these. It was like two or three bucks. I want to say it was two. Um, but yeah, these, these are some vintage brass bookends that I got $19.99 plus shipping on top for. Then the Krogman bought some more comics from me after I shipped that big order already. This bookshelf is really getting light now. Let's see, that's a Gru. He bought these little, little Depressed Boy graphic novels. And then he bought this other graphic novel, Nyx Wannabe. So, thank you very much, Krog Man. I'm going to get these out to you. Um, I'll take a look at the shipping. Probably be able to refund a pretty good bit of shipping on these. Should be able to send these media mail because I don't believe they have any ads in them. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty pretty much certain they don't. It's all graphic novel. So, yep, thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Sold a Batman Christmas ornament from Pop B Shelf. Here it is right here. Imagine that Christmas ornaments are selling well this time of year. <laughs> they really are. Uh, Dark Knight Rises Batman. It's like he's flying. $11.99 plus shipping on top for that guy. And some of y'all may remember the wrestling figures 
that I had up for sale. Um, I sold two lots of them. Had to go double check. I sold lot A and lot D. So this lot right here, I had these already packaged. Same buyer bought both. So I'll see if I can do it a little cheaper some other way than shipping two packages. Should be able to. Yeah, this lot D, that sold for uh, $47.99 plus shipping. And then lot A is a bigger lot that sold for, back in here. Let's see, lot A sold for $56.99 plus shipping. So that ended up being over $100 in sales there. All right, I had this out because I wanted to make sure I still had it before I accepted an offer. This, this item right here, I've had this up for so long. I mean, it's been years. And somebody sent me a $10 offer on it the other day. These uh, wooden, wooden hobby parts of some sort. And um, I took that offer because I've had it so long. $10 plus shipping on top for that. And now I'm in the hat bag. I'm looking for a U.S. Army retired hat. Kind of greenish. And it has Lieutenant Colonel rank on the hat. So very specialized hat. Here we go. U.S. Army retired with Lieutenant Colonel insignia. I got $14.99 plus shipping on top for that. All right, going to the cube and sold this calculator right here. I bought this at a garage sale for a buck, and I was a little concerned about the condition when I bought it, just because it was kind of nasty looking. And it turns out it it turned on. I was able to make a graph and everything, but what i found was that the bottom row of buttons didn't work and it was pretty clear to me that this this thing had some water damage to it so i ended up selling it for parts i sold it for that's a ti-84 plus by the way sold it for 18.99 plus shipping on top with the bottom row of buttons not working and when i say row it was, i mean like probably the bottom three or four rows but it didn't work at all so but still good return on a dollar sold a batman figure it's on wait where was it at mid mid a okay that's where it was um this thing right here by brian hitch and i sold this cheap because it had some issues with the paint so i sold it for 24.99 plus shipping on top and then another figure should be down below here yeah it's gonna be behind all these stupid regulator things are probably never gonna sell I'll take these guys out to get to it yep okay this is a ghost rider statue without the outer cardboard box but it's got the styrofoam box here this guy sold for $399.99 so that was a monster sale for me definitely the best sale over the past couple of days I sold another one of these prints back here one of these LSU is it called Sunday morning quarterback with the tiger on the on the throne reading the sports page yep sold this for $14.99 plus shipping on top I have about five cents in each one <laughs> and uh yeah LSU is LSU stuff is really hot of course right now all right I didn't list anything yesterday but these boots are listed on Wednesday these are Bates Mountain Combat Boots. Uh, used condition, but pretty nice used condition. Size 9. And they sold pretty quick. $34.99 plus shipping on top. So, brand new. They were selling for like $60 something dollars shipped. So, I figured $35 was probably a pretty good place to be. 
to sell them fairly quickly and I was right so I was happy with that I think I have about five bucks into them all right I gotta go back here and get a little figure hopefully anyways I'll get a figure it's a little candle holder yep this right here perfect this little candle holder thing and yes I'm still working on this <laughs> uh, this little candle holder mrs. wink I got $9.99 for plus shipping on top so slowly getting rid of all those uh, little figures okay one more thing to pull this is on the second account it's a photograph like a World War II era photograph and I think they're in here yeah this is where they're at right here I'm looking for okay it's this guy right here as a matter of fact these photos have actually done pretty well they it's just I've had them for I've had them for like a year and I think about a year and four months or something yeah this one is a picture of a guy airing up his tire <laughs> uh, on this old car with a cigarette dangling out of his mouth I think it's got a lot of character I really like that Okay, this photograph is going out to Brandon. And uh, Brandon said that he and Stephanie, hello, Stephanie. <laughs> they watch the channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all like this photograph. So I really appreciate it. All right, pretty solid couple of days. I'm happy with that. That's a lot of bulk getting out of here. It's like a shelf worth, right? Uh, it was very odd though. I sold, I sold $850 on Wednesday. And then I sold like $68 yesterday. <laughs> so it was like crazy, uh, like bipolar sales. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to list some stuff today, hopefully. And after I pack all this stuff up. Oh, uh, the other thing that I have going out today. One thing I may have noticed was missing. This was in the aisle back there. This is a bin full, a large bin full of train stuff and this is going out to becky uh becky and i made a private deal for that for the whole lot of it it's like 97 pieces um we we got to a number that we both like i think she likes the number i like the number and i'm getting rid of that stuff in bulk in one sale so i'm gonna have to go buy uh buy a big big box to put that in from home depot one of those big big home depot ones so thanks a lot becky i hope the stuff works out for you i hope you make a bunch of money on it so i got everything else packed well I, actually the usps packages are out already but uh, i have one more thing that's got to go out and that's this train stuff i've got the bin emptied and everything's in here and this in case y'all want to know how i was going to do it uh, i've boxed everything up so i've got one two three four i think six boxes uh that i boxed up and then i have this one piece over here that i'm going to fill in with a little bit of packing paper uh, and close her up and this will this is a heavy duty large i had to go get it says 24 18 18 but really these usually ship at like uh 25 19 19 because like i'll show you and you have to put you might as well put the the real measurements because they're going to catch it anyway let's see and that inch could make a difference see look that's over 18 so it's like 18 and a half so i, I put 19. so yeah that's uh i'll come back and let y'all know how much this costs to ship i mean it's it's heavy but it's not that heavy so I'm, I'm gonna guess like i'll put the scale on in a second and i'll show you but i'm thinking it's probably around 35 pounds maybe maybe close to 40. all right here we, we're on the scale settle down now <laughs> it's a little over 33 pounds it's rocking right now that's why i'm starting so it's going to ship out at 34. so i guess pretty close i guess 35. let me see what the label is going to cost okay just got the um i just got all the all the floaties and beach balls and stuff out 
except for that one right there. <laughs> I guess I'll hang on to that one. But yeah, I got all that stuff out. I have some of them in this box, which I'm keeping this box. And I have a bunch more in a tub. So I decided I wanted to uh, just go ahead and donate them there. Some of y'all bought some of these as giveaways for like kids or whatever. And I want to say like 80 of y'all did that. And that's really nice. That's really cool. And it was a nice gesture for y'all to try and help me out at the same time. But I just don't think they're good for Christmas presents for these kids. So instead of doing that, I'm going to participate in Justin over at RVA Flips. I'm going to give him the money since he's already doing a Toys for Tots thing. I'll give him the money and let him um, add to his, his giveaway thing for that. So, And I'm just going to give this to Goodwill. Okay, I'm back home and uh, I'm gonna edit some video. Doing a little Black Friday shopping here. That's a pretty cool t-shirt, huh? I might know a few people that might like a shirt like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then we're gonna go to the, we're going to the basketball game tonight, LSU playing basketball against like Missouri State. Nobody very good, but um, it'll be fun. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet. I'm gonna be working a little bit and oh lsu playing a and m tomorrow owe them one from last year and uh yeah i will see y'all again soon thanks for watching take care bye bye